Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A pendulum of length capital L and bob of mass m has a spring of force constant k connected horizontally to it at a distance h below its point of suspension the rod in equilibrium in vertical position the rod of length capital l used for vertical suspension is rigid and massless the frequency of vibration of the system for small value of theta is here we have given four options option a 1 by 2 pi l root gl plus k h by m option b 1 by 2 pi l root m g l plus k by m option c 2 pi root m l square upon m g l plus k h and option d 1 by 2 pi l root g l plus k h square by m before solving the question, we have to understand what the question says. Here, we have given a pendulum which is connected with massless rod. It is very important massless rod. Okay. And its length is L. When that is, it is falls on the springs from their extreme position, then component of Mg, here component of Mg, that is Mg sine theta strikes to the spring and get torque okay so here and here restoring force of the spring again gives the torque so there are for two components of the torque first mg sin theta and the restoring force of the spring but the direction is opposite that is very important piece so here two forces mg sin theta and here restoring force of the spring gets torque that is the key point of this question Okay, and here we given that theta from this extreme position and the mean position that is given that theta is very small. Now here consider this is extreme position and exactly this false that displacement is x. It is given that h it is theta and here that is connected with this rigid strain. Then sine theta is equal to perpendicular x upon h. Then x equal to h sine theta. Here theta is very small. So therefore sine theta when theta is very small can be written as theta. So x equal to h theta. Okay. That is first equation. Now we have to calculate the torque that is denoted by tau. So we get mg component that is mg sin theta and length that is l okay mg sin theta and l and second torque we get from the spring but the direction is negative so minus f and uh, that is total height that is h so tau equal to mg here again sin theta. Theta is very small, so sin theta can be considered theta. So here theta L minus F. Here what is the F? Restoring force of the spring. So minus Kx again we are using minus Kx into H. So tau equal to mg theta L minus minus plus Kxh. Tau equal to mg theta L and what is the value of x? Here h theta. So h theta in the place we have substitute in the place of x. Then tau equal to mg theta L plus k h square theta. Okay. Now we know that tau can be written as also moment of inertia and alpha. Alpha is angular acceleration. And if we have considered second equation, that is this third equation, by comparing second and third, that is I alpha is equal to mg L plus kh 
square and theta get common. Here I can be written as ml square, general formula for moment of inertia ml square because if we have to put 2 by 5 mr square moment of inertia of the bob but here r is not given so therefore we have to put as it is ml square okay so ml square alpha equal to mgl plus k h square theta so ml square by mgl plus k h square is equal to theta by alpha okay so here we know that time period t equal to 2 pi root theta by alpha. So t equal to 2 pi root ml square by mgl plus kh square. Now here we get the frequency. So therefore we know that frequency equal to 1 by t. So therefore 1 by 2 pi root mgl plus kh square here l square get uh, taken out from the root so therefore become l now here m so 1 by 2 pi l we are separated this m then gl plus kh square upon m so let's see which option is matched here 2 pi l g l plus k h square upon m that is d option is correct i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success full contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.